Today, we're forcing humanity to survive on a frozen Earth. So you might recognize this map as the same one we used in the last Earth video. So yeah, it's just the same map, just all frozen. And what I'm thinking this time is I think we're actually going to spawn three different nations because usually we just spawn them kind of in mid africa and let them go from there but i think it'd be more fun with three different nations to start uh, so we'll go ahead and spawn our first nation in africa there we go so we got our first nation great uhidum then we'll go ahead and spawn the second one kind of in uh china area i think we got realm of the y for our second nation and then for the third one i was debating if I should spawn them in North or South uh, America. So I think I'm just gonna spawn them like right in the middle. Uh, we'll spawn them in Panama area and let them choose. All right, so we got our third nation called Realm of the, the Piso. Piso. Yeah, what I'm scared about is because it's the snow biome, polar bears and wolves spawn. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping none of them like spawn near enough to any of our any of our new nations because let's be honest a single polar bear would would totally just wipe these two people out. Uh, so let's hope that doesn't happen. So it looks like Great Uhidum is getting to work. They got two tents it looks like. They got a campfire and then Rebel the Y looks like it's about the same. And what's cool too is this time we're actually gonna be getting some different cultures because uh, last time obviously because it started with just one nation we only got one culture but this time we'll actually get three like different ones so it'll be interesting to see kind of how those develop we go to cultures yeah we got three different cultures bodu dab uh twot twot pab and wutu pab why does everything always end with pab or, or dab all right and realm of the piso is the first to increase the populations so they're up to three population and it looks like they're already building a a dock or something <laughs> yeah it's funny they keep like breaking the ice and falling in the water except for this guy he must have the weightless yeah he has the weightless perk that's cool i don't think i've ever actually seen it in action but that means he doesn't like break the ice he stands on um great uhidum um is still just two population which is funny because they have i think the most houses out of anyone they built like five houses just for the two of them oh wait what realm of the y they just <laughs> Got destroyed. What the? Oh, yeah, it was a wolf. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. This world is, like, just so dangerous because there's so many wolves and so many bears everywhere. Uh, let's hope that doesn't happen to the other two. Um, Paiso's in a pretty good spot with four population, but Uhidum with two is, is a little bit scary. Oh, okay, there we go. Up to three population. Let's go check on uh, Paiso. Oh, no, I think this guy's starving. Yeah, Tevan. He's at 0% hunger. So yeah, that's another another thing that could potentially wipe out any of these new civilizations is there's like barely any food on this map. So yeah, if we look at their kingdom's food. Okay, so they have a little bit of food. They got seven berries, which I guess they found somewhere. But uh, that's definitely not going to last very long. So let's hope they can manage to get some more food. Um, what they really need is some kind of farm. Either some kind of farm or like fishing if they could develop the technology for fishing, then I feel like they'd be set. Yeah, they're up to 10 population, and Uhidum is up to five. Uh, let's see how they're doing as far as food goes. Uh, so it looks like all they have is kind of a, a bundle of leaves here, or herbs. <laughs> so that might be a problem. Yeah, you got this guy's down to 9% hunger, so that's not good. But I suppose cannibalism is always an option. Yeah, I'm hoping they'll start to get some farms pretty soon. Um, they do have weapons now, the weapon production, so maybe they can do a little bit of hunting now. Uh, get like some meat, I guess, but we'll have to see. Oh, Paiso is kind of expanding into to, uh, Cuba, which is kind of cool. If this was a regular map, they wouldn't be able to cross over this area. I'm still just so sad about why they were out so quick. They maybe lasted like a year or two. And these wolves are just still chilling over here. Oh, we got some uh, some penguins up here. That's cool. I wonder if they can eat penguins. <laughs> uh, is that bad of me to think of that? Okay, great, great Uhidum's up to 11. Okay, it looks like the kids are doing okay. I wonder if, did they find a good source of food or do the kids just start with pretty high hunger? The adults, yeah, the adults are all, all starving. Uh, so yeah, they still, their their village still has no food, but they might just be able to keep themselves alive by just constantly procreating. Um, because the kids, yeah, because I I do think the kids do start with fifty percent. I mean, which maybe could get them to like like. 10 years old or something like that before they they die of hunger yeah they really need to get some farms or something roll the pisos at 11 and one of their people just got a fish um so i think they're actually fishing right now which is good though it's funny they got this chicken like right in the middle of their colony here and they've just not thought to do anything with that even though they're starving to death okay, and they just elected a king Cybar? I think that was one of the first people in this colony. So that's cool and dang they're up to 22 population now okay this guy's got full hunger 
So they must have figured out the food situation, uh, or not. I mean, they might just be eating the food when they get it. I don't know if they're stockpiling anything right now. See, how's the how's the food situation over here now? Um, this guy's at 35%. That's not bad. And still no food. But they're chugging along. Looks like we've only had eight deaths in this world. So not a lot of people have died of hunger, surprisingly. And Uhaidam just elected a king. He's a very sad man, which I would be too if I lived in this civilization. Man, yeah, I keep seeing their people just get hurt by, uh... By starvation. I'm surprised they're growing their population so quick though. Paiso is really killing it over here though. Um, looks like they actually built a fishing boat. Uh, so they're getting food that way. We'll see. Let's take a look at their village. All right, I guess no food is has been stocked up, but I think they're probably gonna start stockpiling fish pretty soon here. Um, they got bones, bones and leather though. So I guess they killed maybe a wolf or something. Um, let's see what their culture is. I'm assuming it's Fodu, yeah, Fodu Dam. They are level six. They're developing house tier two roads. Uh, they got sharp axes. So they get some more wood, weapon reduction, and swords actually. Uh, Twotapab, which is the other culture, looks like they're at house tier two and weapon production. Um, so Paiso is definitely advancing quicker, though I think it's just because they have more people. Um, great Uhidums up to twenty, and oh, okay, they're developing mills now. So that's gonna be really useful as far as getting food goes. But we'll see. Hopefully, they can produce. Uh, crops fast enough for them to like feed all their starving people because I think most of uh, Uhidum is is dying of starvation right now okay, And Uhidum just built a new colony. I guess we didn't really look at what their like capital was called in the first place uh, But their capital is called I I Q work um, and their new colony is called Un Unaina Uniaina um, up to three population looks like a lot of people are kind of migrating down there All right, and then oh no what happened to Paiso? I think a lot of their people died actually because they were they were up to I think 30 uh, but I think their food problems seem to be kind of solved. I don't see anyone dying now. Um, we'll take a look at their food. Yeah, they got some bread and they got some fish. Um, and they just built a new colony. Uh, so the first colony was called Tafo, and they just built Viovo down here. And their population is going up pretty quick now. They're up to 55. Uh, Uhidum's up to 67. Yeah, I'm really surprised Uhidum ended up passing up um, Paiso as far as population goes. Because they were definitely struggling for for quite a while, but I think they've finally kind of figured stuff out. What is their army doing? They just all want to go kill this chicken down here. Okay, then as far as cultures go, yeah, Photodab's up to level 10. So they're chugging along pretty nicely. They got house tier three, um, docks, windmill, hammer, swords. Uh, Twotapav has, oh, knowledge gain. Nice, they're up to 5.8% uh, knowledge gain. So that's gonna make them develop their culture really quickly. Um, they got house tier three, Three and swords and a new village from Uhidum. Uh, so we got Ad Aid Aid Sursk. Yeah, we're starting to see their population really boom. Uh, they're up to 125. Paiso, they just built two new colonies. So they're starting to kind of make their way up. It looks like they've kind of made it to Mexico. And I guess this would be like Venezuela up here. Yeah, so Paiso's got four different colonies now. I'm curious when we're going to get some kind of rebellion um, and which nation it's going to be first. All right, they just built a new colony, Tihedron, over here. Oh, that's scary. So Paiso and Uhidum both have transport boats now. Uh, so they could technically declare war on each other right now if they wanted to. I mean, these kings are dying so quick. Or I guess maybe not. I guess it's been a hundred years, but um, Uhydran's gone through like four kings. I feel like they just keep dying. But this guy, Hi, Hi Mora, um, he is only 19 years old, so I guess he will be around for a while. Though, I don't know why they ele elected him. He's like the worst person ever. And a couple new colonies from Uhydum. We got uh, Haifoa and Yenork. So yeah, it looks like they are starting to kind of branch out into the Middle East here. Hopefully they can kind of start making their way to kind of Asia area because Asia just looks so lonely over here and two new colonies from um, Paiso and I think the colonies are actually trading with, with each other now I believe this is a trading boat um, unless they are transporting people yeah it doesn't look like that so it looks like they are actually trading uh, okay maybe not actually <laughs> they were just picking up these people that were trapped on this island oh okay we just had a rebellion man a lot just happened so we just had Great Uhydran just built five new colonies. Yeah, these five colonies, one, two, three, four, five, all like literally just got built at the same time. And then we also got a new rebellion. So we got a great Uvife as our new civilization. And they actually took a lot of Uhydran's army with them. They took 53 army down here. So they could potentially be 
actually a pretty big threat to uh, Ohidum. Okay, so there's a little battle going on down here. I think we do have angry villagers turn on, so the villagers will try and help out. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a very short-lived rebellion. Oh, they just straight up killed them. They didn't even, like, capture them or anything. They just killed every single person. <laughs> Rip. Well, I guess that was still pretty a pretty big blow to the Empire here because um, they're down to only 420 and Paiso. I think Paiso just built some new colonies. Um, I want to take a look at the technologies because we are in year 135. I bet they've probably advanced pretty uh, far. So Photodab, which is um, Paiso, is up to level 21, which is crazy. So they have uh, silver, they got house tier four, um, barracks, axes, hammers, and swords. And then Twotapab has, oh, they're developing armor. Okay, so that's useful. And house tier five and housing one. Well, that makes sense why they have so much more population because they have such better houses. And they also have hammers and swords. Um, it's weird to me that Totopab is behind in culture level because they do have knowledge gain one and I think their knowledge gain is actually faster than Photodab. Wait, I guess not. How do they have 14 knowledge gain? I'm so confused. Do they just have a ton of smart people here? Okay, and a new rebellion from Uhidum. The people of Uhidum are just not happy. Paizo has not had a single rebellion this whole time. Okay, but our new nation is Holy Lu. So we got some battles going on down here. Um, they might actually be able to claim some of Uhidran's colonies because this army is doing pretty well up here okay maybe not all right Yenork just fell um hifoa is at five percent oh no 30 40 50 60 70 i think this rebellion is not gonna last much longer oh okay wait we just got a new rebellion is that oh it's uhidum again holy bath is their new rebellion man these people are just they're just getting rebellions left and right unfortunately it doesn't look like they took any army with them which was not a good move oh wait okay they have they have some army down here we'll see maybe between between lu and bath maybe they might have a chance but we'll see oh geez is that another one is that from the same oh no, that's uh, that's Paiso's first rebellion, the Gopur Empire. Oh, and there's another one, Holy Holy Rice Syphy. They've had like five rebellions, but they're so small they keep getting destroyed super quickly. Um, I have pretty good faith in this one up here, though. I think they might pose a pretty good challenge, the Gopur Empire. Uh, they got an army coming down into will this be Tafo, and they looks like they're actually going to take it. So Tafo just got claimed. Oh no, they're taking it back. I mean, Paiso's army's been pretty depleted. If, if Goper can defeat this 20 right here, uh, they might actually have a pretty good chance. Oh, Nightpipe just fell. So what are they down to? 130? Um, they still have an 18 and a 4. <laughs> and they're actually building some new colonies. So hopefully, maybe they can just, like, escape this area. If they could just, like, make their way up here, maybe uh, maybe Paiso will leave them alone. And it looks like that rebellion over there got quashed and oh we just got a new one. Oh, this new empire is just called we see how this rebellion's doing okay so they've managed to find fend off paiso's army and they have a 42 up here shoot okay what is this a 40 oh that's a 43 okay night pipe's about to get taken over and we just got a new rebellion realm of the pig and they're pink which is perfect oh they're they're gonna take hyphoa oh yeah realm of the pig Let's go. About to take i -Cork. And Holy Lou is kind of taking this opportunity to go take some of these southern colonies. Though I don't think it's going very well. Wait. Oh, no way. Okay. Two new um, civilizations just got formed. <laughs> They're my favorite nation now. PP Hegemony is one of our new ones. And we got the Ebe. Ah, uh, I don't think they're going to be big enough. No, the other rebellions just got conquered. Realm of the Pig is down to just 51 population. Um, and Holy Lou, you traitors. They just made peace with the U Uhydrum. Uh, which is probably a good idea because... Uh, they're actually gonna be able to survive more than like a minute. Um, the Eve is not doing too bad though. Pig is about to get taken over. And I guess the rebellion over here got conquered. Uh, I'm trying to remember what they were called. The Goper? I think it was. It was the Goper Empire. Ah, uh, rip the Eve. They tried so hard and got so far. I'm happy to see Holy Lu is doing what pretty well. Uh, so they're kind of expanded into India area. Okay, no way. So Paiso just declared war on Uhidum. Oh, this will be really fun to watch. Dang, more rebellions. This is like a terrible time for a rebellion for Uhidum. Uhidum, because Paiso is definitely on the warpath right now. Yeah, they're loading up a ton of guys. They got a 28 on this boat. It seems like guys just keep coming. Yeah. So how many is on this one? Um, 122. 120 getting dropped off in Africa. Uh, I'm curious where this one's going. I'm not really sure. It's going to go sail around the entire world to come back. Oh man, so nearly 100 soldiers. So I'm taking Saika 18%. 
to hide to Hedron at 90, 100, but Uhidum's uh, fighting back a little bit. They're reclaiming to Hydron. It looks like they're loading people up on a boat. Is that what's going on over here? Okay, yeah, Hydrum had a pretty big rebellion, actually, uh, of 350. All right, oh, okay, Dib is getting pushed back. There we go, they're about to lose that colony. They got two colonies left. Um, yep, I think this is Dib's last colony, Uvama at 70, 80, 90, and that's it. And Paiso is back. See how much armor they have. They got a 30, a 30. 13 and a 39 wait oh no way so paiso just had a huge rebellion but i guess these soldiers that were here that like 13 and 20 or whatever they were part of this civilization yep okay 20 percent where do those armies even go yeah their armies like turned orange but i don't know where they went yeah paiso's rebellion I think is gonna get quashed pretty quick. Paiso's grown to be a huge nation though. They've conquered the entirety of South America. And if they end up conquering Holy See, they'll have most of North America too. Um, Holy Lu just declared war on Uhidum and <laughs> Uhidum just got a new rebellion. All this could be the end of Uhidum. Um, because between these two, that's about 800 population, which is a lot more than Uhidum has. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, a ton of colonies are getting taken over. A Fiwin Sin is getting taken over at 14. Oh, Holy Lu just had a, a rebellion. Uh, Pamura. Yeah, uh, Ibu is taking a couple colonies. Shamersk and Uvama. Wait, who is this? Is that... No, that's Paiso? Why did they go all the way over there? Yeah, why would they? I have no idea why they landed like all the way over here. Yeah, well, it's definitely gonna be a while before they can make it over there. I don't even know if Uhidum's gonna exist by the time they get there. Wait, are they just swimming across the ocean? Paiso's army is built different. All right, can they take a colony over though? Looks like they're going after Yenork or maybe not. Where are they going? Oh, they're not even at war with them anymore. Yeah, Paiso and Uhidum are not even at war. So like they totally did this for absolutely nothing. All right, I think this is the end of Pamura. Yeah, so that one just got captured and they just have this one little colony up here. Um, Paiso ended up conquering this rebellion up here. To be honest, I don't really remember what they were called. Okay, but Holy Lu, now that Pomura's for the most part out of the way, I, um, I think they're gonna start kind of focusing pretty hard on Uhydrum. Okay, a ton of rebellions just happened. What on earth? <laughs> is this all from Paiso? Okay, well, North and South America have a ton of new nations now. Um, Great Uhidum, they just will not die. They've actually gained a lot of population despite being at war with two nations. They've almost destroyed Ibu, um, but Lu's still doing pretty good at about 600 population. Hopefully they can start to reclaim some of these colonies. And Neko and Holy Lu are going pretty hard after Uhidum. Yeah, they're gonna take this huge colony down here, Gasowo. Ifo is getting captured. A hit choice uh, is getting captured. Oh, holy Lu, they passed up Uhidum. No way, they're up to almost a thousand. Uhidum's down to 750. Um, and Neko continues to take colonies. I think Neko, oh, Neko passed them up too. Oh man, holy Lu might actually end up being the next kind of world power here. Cause Paiso, okay, Paiso's doing pretty good, but they're definitely not what they used to be. Their kingdom has become just so split. Yeah, and Holy Lu's gonna get a ton of population by taking over like all these colonies. Um, Neko just had a huge rebellion. Ly Lyshuch, Holy Lu, up to 1500 population. Yeah, Uhidum. Your day of reckoning is come. Oh, Uhidum like built a little colony on Iceland. Yeah, they're just trying to get out of here. They, they know they're gonna die. Lu just had a big rebellion. Great Chab. I think North and South America, all these colonies seem to be pretty, pretty peaceful to each other. You only have like maybe one war going on right now. It looks like Fee and High, High Fitch are, are kind of the only war going on. And then something with Dukoe. Oh, Dukoe and Fee. Yeah, everyone else is at peace, but it looks like Fee is just kind of trying to like conquer the world right now. But I don't think they're going to last much longer. Yeah, two of their colonies just fell. I think they just have these two colonies here. Great Chaba. They've grown huge, no way. So they've actually outgrown Holy Lu. They took over a ton of their colonies. Um, so they're up to like 1,400. Holy Lu's at 800. Um, Great Uhidum is still around. They're still at war with Holy Lu, but it looks like Neko actually made peace with them. Um, so they're actually gonna survive. And Fee about to get taken over. Uh, there we go, so Fee is out. Um, also Yenork, what was Yenork? Uh, oh, they're part of Lyshuch. And Afo is about to get captured by Highfitch. Um, so Highfitch is become, starting to become a pretty big empire here. And I think they 
Did they just declare war on someone? I think I just saw that. They just declared war on, oh, Dakoe. Dang, that sucks for Dakoe. All right, and Paiso's jumping back in. Um, So they declared war on, I guess they're kind of neighbors down here. Oh man, they have so much army. All their army's just been chilling up here, but they're all heading down right now. See how Dakoe's doing. It looks like Lice Schutz is pretty much out of the game with 32 population. Oh, great Chaba. Look at him go at 2,100 population. Yeah, they're absolutely going ham and they just continue to take lose colonies. So so Lou could potentially get eliminated pretty soon here. Yep, Paiso just has so much army. Yep, 80, 90, and that's it. However you say that one <laughs> was just destroyed. Okay, I think Holy Lou. Yeah, Holy Lou just got destroyed. All right, we just reached year 300, so I think this is probably a good stopping point. And it looks like the world actually ended up only having a few nations. So it looks like we ended up with Great Chaba, Paiso, which they actually lasted the whole game. Um, Neko, High Pitch, Great Uhidum, and I guess Afo's out there somewhere. They just got one like random guy wandering around. 